look at those membership chats. Thank you guys for two whole months. Two whole months. Let me go ahead and get some music playing. That way it's just not me chatting. Alright. There we go. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Uh, yeah. Cool. Good morning. How are you guys? I'm tired today. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired. I was super, super productive um, yesterday. So I woke up, I got a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, I actually have a video completely, like I built a habitat, I recorded everything, I edited it, it just needs a voiceover. Um, so I did that yesterday. I did some stuff around the house. I laid by the pool for like an hour because it was really nice out, so I took my book and I went and read. Um, but I'm just tired. I'm, I'm just tired because I really didn't, I didn't sit down and take a lot of me time yesterday. It was kind of going, going, going. So I'm going to be tired this stream. <laughs> I got a full night's sleep too, uh, Omen. That's awesome. Uh, well, actually, I take that back. Um, I got a full night's sleep, but I was kind of off my normal sleep schedule. Normally I go to bed between like 10 and 11 and I get up at about six um, for like work and stuff like that. Um, but yesterday I went to bed at like midnight and I got up at like 8.30 or nine. Uh, so I've only been up for like an hour or so. So even though it was like, eight hours it was like an off eight hours and so I'm I'm very groggy I'm very sleepy <laughs> but good morning everyone um tumbly hello and Nicole Heather uh Hex Moon T-Rex is here Hippo King Andre Tom can you redeem this for an item I don't know maybe we'll have to do a um like a membership redemption something that's a good idea because you guys are already paying for a membership anyway, so I should I should think about that. Sleep has been rough lately. I'm sorry, Brittany. Coffee mug is here. Hello. Started sleeping at 2 a.m. and you woke up at uh, 1600 to 4 o'clock. Is that right? Four. Yeah, four o'clock. Wow. Howdy, howdy. Hi, Amber. How are you? No sleep, gang. I don't want to be a part of that gang. <laughs> I don't operate well when I don't sleep well. I hate it. It's awful. <laughs> 4 p.m. Yeah. Woke up yesterday at 7 p.m. Uh, night shift work is great. Oh, I don't think I could do it. Oh, well, I take that back. I could do it if, like, the whole world operated on a no nocturnal schedule. Like, things were open and I could, like, you know, be up all night and sleep all day because honestly that's what my body really wants to do like if I just don't set alarms don't have anything to do my clock would stay up until like 1 2 in the morning and sleep until like 11 or 12 in the afternoon like that's that's when I want to sleep and no matter how hard I've tried forever to be a morning person like go to bed at like 9 10 and then get up at 5 or 6 I'm, I hate it. My body hates it so much. <laughs> Sleep is nothing to you. You don't know why, but even uh, with the AC on at random times, it gets so hot in your room and you wake up sweating. That's the worst too, is I don't sleep well at all when, um, when it's hot. And then the AC unit makes so much noise that it's kind of like, is it worth it to have the noise or is it worth it to have the AC on? What's better? I don't know. Days you don't stream, you go to sleep at about 11 a.m. to 12, so you're very adjusted to it. You do errands in the a.m. Nice. I sleep more now that you're pregnant. There you go. There's a plus, I guess. <laughs> you're useless the first hour after waking up. I am too, Tom. I get so fussy with Matt too sometimes when he's like asking me questions in the morning or like needing me to do something in the morning and I'm like, just... <laughs> Stop talking, please. <laughs> I'm not functional yet. In a nice way, of course. He did that this morning because he was in a rush. He woke up kind of late um, and he had to go to work. And so he was, you know, talking and chatting. And I was like, Matt, I like my eyes opened 15 minutes ago. I am not coherent, please. Nothing is getting absorbed. Nothing is getting understood. Just 
slow down. <laughs> uh, that's your ideal sleep schedule. Once you had your last birthday, though, your body disagrees. Yeah. I love being up early and staying up late. Oh, that's... I don't like those things. That's no sleep. I go to bed early and wake up late. Uh, I'm not a morning or a night person. Being pregnant has made it harder. I'm a belly sleeper and right now I'm too round to sleep. Oh, that's awful. I'm a belly sleeper too, which is terrible because it really uh, kinks my neck. Like that's part of why I have such bad neck problems. So might as well be non-existent in the first 30 minutes of waking up. Yeah, same because I'm, this is where like, so I have like a 45 to 55 minute commute to work every morning. And that is really honestly helpful. So when I get to work, I'm awake because in the car, I have uh, had my coffee and I like think to myself for 50 minutes, you know, listen to music, all that kind of stuff. And then when I get to work, I'm like, okay, I've been awake for a while. It's okay. Plus I, you know, I have to get up like even an hour before I leave so that I can shower and get ready and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, so that's really helped having the long the long commute. Hey, Rona, how are you? Rona or Rana? But right now, your temps are the upper 80s. So a cool reprieve. Nice. It was 78 at my house yesterday. And I don't know what the weather says for today. I was actually thinking of going to get in the pool um, again today, but I didn't check the weather and I haven't been outside. <laughs> weather by my house is... It says it's supposed to be a high of 76 today. Oh, thank goodness. It's cooling off. It says 76 today, 71 tomorrow, 71 on Saturday, 72, 73, 73, 72, 72. Oh, fantastic. What is the weather at my work is the question because I work uh, obviously an hour away. Ugh. <laughs> 94, 94, 93, 91, 89, 89. Okay, so going slightly down but still in like the 90s at work every day. I hate that. It's the 80s here, but you feel like upper 90s. Um, so the lawn mowing can wait. Oh, I would, I would let my lawn grow in the summer. It would be on its own. <laughs> um, I'm doing very good. I'm just very tired. Yeah, I've heard Texas is really hot. I've heard the UK is hot too. Interesting. I thought it would be much hotter during the summer in San Diego. No, I'm really coastal, Tom. So I'm like five miles from the beach. And so at my house, it really stays very like neutral or modest. What's the word? It stays very not like this. <laughs> so it stays, it probably gets like 82 to 85 at like the very hottest at my house there's been some anomaly days where it's gotten to be like 90 or so which is terrible because i don't have ac in my house um uk is back to normal after monday and thursday oh that's good to hear consistent thank you heather <laughs> brain moderate yeah that could work too all those words that i just couldn't think of <laughs> um 102 is a low average day here. Blick. Blech. Hello, how are you? All right, should we jump into some Planet Zoo? I have my trusty blindfold and I didn't update the menu again. I'm sorry, you guys. I was doing a whole bunch of other stuff. I actually spent two hours yesterday organizing files <laughs> on my computer. It took me so long, two hours. Uh, took me so long and where are we going? Stream, stream zoo. Uh, but I feel so much better because um, after kind of rebranding the channel, I have a whole bunch of files I'm not really gonna use anymore because it's like the old, old stuff. And so I put them in an old file and organized all the new files so that they're easy for me to find. Taunting us with that blindfold. <laughs> A little bit, little bit. I'm, I mean, you guys, I'm, like I said, tired. So I don't know how much chaos uh, is going to be productive uh, today. So, oh yeah, that's right. Our capybars are swimming. They're so cute. All right, get rid of these notifications. Where's my list here? So, K 
Capybara and Friend, and Shavalski's Wild Horse from T-Rex. Shells Bells is the one that donated for the Capybara and Friend. So it's going to be Capybara and Giant Anteater. So the very first thing I think we should do, excuse me, is vote for how many Anteaters. Because we have to add Anteaters in here. And we voted for four Capybara, but then they... They already had babies, so we, we already have six. So let's take a look at the anteater. The giant anteater. Mm, here we go. They, oh, they only like two. So there you go. That makes the voting easy. Oh no, I was recording cinematics. Hold on, let me turn off. Let me turn this off. Where is it? There it is. Apply. So I told you guys I am starting that new series. I'm still working very hard on it. The I think I'm going to call it the Species Breakdown. Um, oh, wait. That's not what I want to do. The Species Breakdown videos. Um, how many ant eaters? <laughs> yes or no? One or two? Go ahead while we talk. Vote for that. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do the species breakdown on the aardvark first because I'm going to do it alphabetical. Super uh, organized and everything. We're going to go alphabetical. And uh, I needed a habitat to show the aardvark's uh, habitat design with. So I designed and built an aardvark habitat yesterday. Uh, and that, so that's the video that I've completed. I just need to do the voiceover for it. And I haven't decided whether I want to release the species, species breakdown video first or the speed build first. I kind of want to do the breakdown first, but I still need to figure out if there are leucistic or, or I'm sorry, leucistic and albino aardvarks or if there's just albino ones because I'm pretty sure in sandbox I found the albino one but I don't know if there's leucistic so any of you guys uh did I spell anteater wrong or are you just laughing at anteaters <laughs> um if you guys have ever seen one of those two variations let me know because I'm curious I went into um franchise mode real quick before we started streaming and there was two albino ones but they were for like 10,000 uh conservation credits and I couldn't afford them only albino I believe that would be fantastic if it was only albino because that means I already have one and I can like record the video and be done with it so all right let's see what'd you guys do I have a feeling that you guys have chosen two. Oh, she's laughing at you okay <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. Let's get oh, I'm putting my legs to sleep already. Oh, there we go. Here's aardvarks. <laughs> Giant anteaters. Giant anteaters. These guys have dark brown hairs with white markings. Dark brown hairs with white markings. Black hairs with white markings. So let's do this. Male. Uh, male. And female. Fantastic. <clears throat> And let's go ahead and put them in the zoo. Now, if I hit play, capybaras, you're not going to have any more babies, right? All you got to do is just sit there for like two seconds while the ant eaters come. I don't want a thousand capybara. Oh, yes, of course we'll put plants in this habitat. We are, we are not done at all. Anywhere close. Look at them. They're so cute. I'm having so much fun doing the species overview videos. I worked on the, oh, hold on, let me scoot in a little bit and adjust myself as I like come towards the camera really fast. Because <laughs> um, I love watching their animations. Honestly, like one of my favorite parts of the game is just to, to watch them like walk around and use their enrichment items and stuff like that. So I have had a blast uh, doing it and I can't wait to do all the animals. It's going to take me forever and it's probably enough content uh, to last me my entire lifetime on YouTube. So that's great. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I'm very, very excited to do it. I hope you guys do enjoy them, uh, the videos, because my idea is hopefully to have it be like a good resource when you guys are building habitats that you can reference it and 
for some inf informational stuff. So there we go. Bless you. You okay? I don't know whether she coughed or sneezed. Are you okay, Nalu? I think she's fine. You watch them constantly and love it? Yeah, I, I love it. I love watching them. Okay. Um, the signs that I'm obsessed with and that I feel like I want to use in these two are from Lowbury. And they're these ones. So you guys saw me use these in Mayberry Park Zoo. And I think they're just such a perfect, simple sign for enclosures. I'm currently, like I said, currently obsessed with them. So these are the ones we're going to put down here as well for our aardvarks and our, what are those? Capybara? Aardvarks and capybara? Yeah. So I'm going to put one there. And then another one. Actually, maybe we'll do, we'll do this. I just, this bottom part is made with the font pieces and I can't. <laughs> I don't, I don't possess the ability to, um, to do stuff with the font pieces like that. So I'm glad that somebody else can and that I can use them. So huge shout out, uh, cause these are not mine. Uh, capybara and giant anteater is what we're looking at. Capybara. What I say, anteaters and capybara is what I meant. <laughs> I, you guys, if I misspeak, if I act weird, tired, we're gonna have to remember this whole stream. Why is that two words? Giant ant eater. Ant eater's one word. Typo. All right, so there's that. So we can do that there, and then maybe, maybe another one over here. Like a generic, generic sign. Like, like a so. Mm, maybe not that one. Maybe this one. Uh, you don't think that there is a mel melanistic aardvark in real life? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know too much about aardvarks. And I just laugh that they're like the first, <laughs> the first animal because um, they're such a funny animal. But yeah, they are in alphabetical order. They are the first. You can't judge. You're exhausted yourself. And I forgot to make my coffee too. So I might have to, oh, let me show you guys. So I have this brand new be right back screen so I can actually take breaks. You won't be able to hear me, but look, check it out. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. Although the chat didn't seem to be coming up on that. Okay, it did. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I was waiting for somebody to say something. <laughs> oh, my cat's in here with me. That scared the crap out of me. Kiwi. Hi, come here. Did I lock you in here with me? You're not supposed to be in here anyway. Come here. Come here. Oh, kitty cat. You know, you gotta look at the camera. Show them your pretty face. <laughs> your angry face. Yeah, she's not supposed to be in here because they, uh, actually not really her. But my male cat, um, Mango, will eat my plants. And so, uh, and shed all over everything. So I normally keep the door closed, but I think I forgot to close it last night. And so she, <laughs> when I closed it to stream, because you can see it's closed behind me, uh, she was inside. She was inside. Are you a cute kitty? <laughs> she said, I don't want to look at the camera. I don't want to look at the camera. Are you a cute kitty? Are you so cute? <laughs> so pet me. Would another cat be named Avocado? Actually, Tom, I joked saying that uh, if I got a third cat, I was going to name it Peaches. <laughs> okay, go down. 
or or just peach, not plural. I guess you're hanging out in here with us, Kiwi. Now I'm covered in cat hair. This is why everything I own is uh, is cat hair. Yeah, she's Kiwi. My first cat was Mango. Ugh, my neighbor's doing construction again. I can't even tell you guys how frustrated I am with my neighbor. He's like drilling and grinding on the shared wall that we have, which is freaking fantastic, but I can hear him right now, so. But she's a cute kitty. We joke that she is our cutest cat, or our cutest pet, um, because she she's absolutely adorable. When she lays like this with her feet together, her paws are white, but they match. So when she puts them together, there's like a little white line on her toes. Hey, T-Rex. Welcome back. You almost named your dog Maple. Uh, oh, Mango when you first got her. I was like, I thought your dog's name is Maple. <laughs> I've seen pictures of her, but yes. Yeah, Mango is an orange cat. And then obviously Kiwi's not an orange cat. Hi, Noah, how are you? Anyway, she's gonna sit here and <laughs> rub against my legs. Okay, so hopefully you guys can't hear that. It's rattling my wall. You wanna hug Kiwi? She's a super tolerant cat. Like if I pick her up, I can hold her by two legs, turn her upside down, and she just kinda like sits there like, okay, this is my life until I'm done. And then uh, she never claws, she never like, gets upset or anything like that. She's a really good kitty cat. All right, so then can we do another viewing right here? Right here, and we're gonna adjust the path. Adjust the path so that there's so you can actually walk up to that viewing because right now you cannot. <laughs> I wonder if I can fit it right here. Yes, and please connect. Oh, sweet. There we go. Perfect, nearly perfect. Okay, awesome. Uh, two anteaters, one. We have two of them in here. We have one and two. You wanna get two cats? I would have a third to be honest. But Matt keeps saying no. <laughs> he keeps telling me we have too many animals. And I don't know where he gets that from. We only have three dogs, two cats, a tortoise, a bird, and a snake. And that doesn't sound like too many to me. But apparently it's too many. Well, I, let me rephrase that. He always says, it's not too many. It's the right amount. Because too many would suggest that we needed to get rid of some. But he says we don't need to get rid of some. We just... We don't need any more because what we have is the perfect amount. So there you go. What we have is the perfect amount. That is joined like so. And then I'm thinking we just kind of do like a, I mean, this is supposed to be tropical, right? So let's decide on fencing stuff. I'm thinking bamboo. Now we have a couple different options we can do. Uh, we can do something like this along, like to connect here to here, or we could do a whole bunch of custom ones. <sighs> Got cat hair all over me. I'm going to have cat hair all over me for the rest of the day now, <laughs> at least until after stream. Something like this, just like very quick, and we can even... Um, Put in some of these things. Kiwi, you don't get to um, steal the whole stream. She's meowing and rubbing up against my leg. She's upset because I put her down. She might jump on my lap throughout the stream. Um, something like that to cover it. Or third option being um, this one with this on top. Oop, that one's too big. Like that. Okay, so we have, <laughs> let's look at them in the light. We have one, 
two and three so we'll call what is this called this is bamboo wall and this is african sticks so we're gonna do this we're gonna do which wall we'll do bamboo wall custom custom wall oh i didn't spell custom right custom wall or african sticks <laughs> All right, one, two, three, African sticks, custom wall, bamboo wall. You're ready to lose another pull. That's the spirit. <laughs> you heard a meow. You still want to hug Kiwi now even more. She is adorable. She's under the bed now. Forgot I got myself some strawberries. Go wind up the dogs. She's actually really good with the dogs. Um, Mango's kind of a jerk sometimes. And uh, if the dogs get too close, he'll, like, hiss at them to say, like, you know, get away kind of thing. So the dogs are kind of, um, the dogs are kind of afraid of Mango. Um, but Kiwi doesn't do that, so they're not really afraid of her. Oh, you might not lose? Woohoo! Oh, I guess I should unhighlight this so you guys can actually see it. Sorry. There you go. African sticks, custom bamboo, or bamboo wall. Um... Yeah, Silver Fox uh, works during the day, Aaron. Unfortunately, we are streaming right when he is at work and he cannot skip work and um, and uh, hang out with us on stream. So he's still a mod. He's still a mod in the Discord and everything. And hopefully, eventually, we'll get back to some Sunday streams and he'll be able to join us again. All right, let's see. And the poll. What did you guys choose? Oh, okay. So this one is a no, but there is a tie. So now we got to do one more. Which wall? Part two. Which wall? Part two. Oh, make sure this. Now, can't be a tie on this one, so don't make it 50 50. <laughs> Custom or Africa. Oh, Africa. African sticks. So we're gonna vote again. We're gonna vote again. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, you lost, Heather. Oh no. <sighs> Kiwi should have the final say. I don't know how she would choose. She's under the bed. <laughs> I'm not going under there to get her. Vote sticks? No, you clicked sticks, not custom. Sticks, custom. Sticks this time then? Yeah, whoever voted for the third option has to pick a new one now. I have my favorite. I know what I want. You may win a poll, such a rarity, you don't know how to feel? I feel excited. Custom sticks. Sticks one. It's not over yet. <laughs> well, it's going to be over now because I'm going to click it, but. Let's see. Sticks, sticks. We sound like a bunch of weirdos yelling sticks and custom. Uh, great. African sticks it is. This is helping me learn the name of the items too. So. African sticks. I actually like this piece. And for peace count purposes, it's nice too. But we'll do this so that it's not super tall. Across, like so. <laughs> We're the weirdos? Yeah. Every time. I am not a weirdo. <laughs> Can't say that with a straight face. Is that tall enough? I think so. You know what? I'm just going to add more rocks to meet this one instead of doing it like that. There we go. More rocks. Always more rocks. Let's see. Is that that one? Yeah. No, I want 
to duplicate it and bring it over here and do flip it upside down because I want the smaller side up like so build smarter not harder that's right we need a t-shirt with that on it I speaking that just like reminded me so I have three more designs uh, for stickers in the works right now and the artist hasn't been getting back to me so I'm a little little annoyed with that but hopefully they will get back to me soon because it's the one that I've worked with for a couple of the designs um so I have a couple designs for habitat animals like I told you guys or um exhibit animals like I told you guys but I'm also gonna do I think our first pin like like um hard enamel pin um no otter yet, Hippo King, but I, I have it on the, the list of animals that you guys suggested. But um, I want to do a hard enamel pin. I just can't decide on a design because I can only afford to kind of release one design at a time. So I may have to put like a vote on Discord. You got your stickers the other day. They're so pretty. Already on your car. You need to get pictures. I wasn't expecting them to get to me so fast. And your handwriting is so pretty. Thank you. Goliath frog pin? I don't know, Brittany. That's a stretch. No spider pins. <laughs> Hello, Alexandros. Okay, so we need... So that means we can kind of continue this over there too, but I kind of want to do some some foliage, right? Okay, so here we go. Here's your guys' chance to uh, to choose chaos. What foliage? And we'll do uh, desert, tropical. And again, this is the majority of the foliage, not like the entirety of it. So we can pick and choose different pieces. Uh, grassland. Or should we really choose chaos? Should I add Arctic in there? But Arctic doesn't really have a lot of foliage, so never mind. Um, desert, tropical, grassland, or temperate. Okay, go. A blue door sticker. I could do that. I could do a blue door sticker. Blueprint graveyard needs to be an option. There's not a lot of foliage over there. Oh, I guess there's like alpine foliage. That's not a bad idea. Let's see. Let's take some of while while you guys are voting. Let's see what I can use. What I can use from here. Are these individual pieces? No, these are the stair pieces. So, what if? <clears throat> what if? You're gonna lose, but desert has so much potential. <laughs> you chaotic person. Cause we have a slope here, right? So what if we kind of put these in? They're kind of, they're too steep is the problem. Yeah, those are too steep. I don't think they quite work there. Instantly voted for desert. Seems like a good challenge. <laughs> Tropical foliage. I mean, that's the one that makes the most sense, right? Um, let's see. Is there anything else we can bring over here to use? We have a small burrow, but they cannot use that. We have Arctic rocks, but they cannot use that. I need to come in here like after stream and do some organizing and put like things in certain categories. Ugh, my lip itches. You're gonna go with tropicals gonna win? I don't know. All right, let's go back. Let's see, what'd you guys choose? Chaos? Hmm. A red cave. 
That doesn't fit them. 12% of you with the desert, man. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. Tropical. Oh, putting my, putting my feet to sleep. You lost. Did you vote for desert? All right, tropical. So we already have these trees kind of over there. So maybe we can add a couple more of these. You voted grassland, so don't blame you. Oh, you voted grassland too? That wouldn't have been a too difficult option to pick. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys. <laughs> How many of you guys yawned at home? <laughs> Desert gang, rise up. There's Leaf to bring us some chaos. How are you doing, Leaf? The crazy madman that puts out videos faster than anybody else can even blink. <laughs> Which is nice because it's been giving me something to watch, so that's that's good. But I just don't understand how you do it. I need that time. <laughs> and it's not even the inspiration for me. Like, I have so many ideas for habitats and things like that. I just... Time. I don't have that much time. <sighs> South American grasslands, especially around the uh, Pan Pantanal, are filled with... Pampas, grasses, and beautiful wetlands. So that's what you went with. Very nice. Well, maybe we will, um, considering it got like 9% or so, we can use a couple different leaves and stuff like that. Or leaves, grasses. <laughs> I was just talking about leaf. Because um, that drin grass I basically use in every single habitat. Because it's the best. It's the best best god when i get tired my brain and my mouth don't connect and um it's a problem it's a real problem also i want to talk to you guys this never used to be a thing so when i'm selecting things right you used to have to actually come down here or press i to select this multi-selection tool now all i'm doing is holding control and clicking and see how it automatically turns to the multi-select tool i don't remember when that happened but that was in like an like an update i and i don't i don't quite like i said remember when that became a thing but it has not always been a thing. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I just, I was building one day and I do that all the time because I obviously build things and then multi-select them and duplicate them and stuff like that. But yeah, that's all updated. And you can now, which this was a thing and then it wasn't and then I think they brought it back. But if I hold control and select all these, I can duplicate them and they're not all one group or I can control X. Oh, I can't, I still can't control X, but I can duplicate them. What? Wait a sec, no, hold on. Wait, it just let me do that. You guys saw that, right? I just, I that's how I did that. Why is it being weird now? What is, am I going crazy? You guys saw that, right? I selected all of these and I duplicated it and I was holding it over here. But now, yeah, see that one will let me duplicate it and control X and move it. Weird, what is happening? Huh, okay, well, I'm gonna ignore that for now. But anyway, my point being is that I can hold control 
and uh, and duplicate things now without having to go down or press I as the quick button, quick key, hot key, whatever you want to call it. Those giant Amazon lily pads for the pawn. That could be cool. That could be very cool. Let's put this all in one group. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it. Oh, okay, cool. So it is perfect. And now we want to make a building. Oh, you just learned that too, Leaf? Yeah, I I was building and I just randomly, like, cause obviously when you're in a group, you can select multiple things like that. Like, um, and I just, I just was doing it. And all of a sudden I was like, this shouldn't work. <laughs> this has never worked before. And now it does. So there you go. Quick, quick tip for ya. We're gonna make a box and we're gonna make a pretty box. My chaos will ensue deciding what uh, build category. Oh no, is there blindfoldedness coming? Is there blindfoldedness going to happen? All right, we're gonna leave that for later. I just wanna like complete the habitat so it has a, a barrier or a um, perimeter that makes it look like the animals can't actually just like escape out of nowhere. There we go. Oh, it's gotten really hot in my office. The problem is, is my PC is down below me. It's just below my desk uh, to the left and the fans push all the hot air onto my legs, <laughs> which is awful in the summer. It's nice in the winter, but it's awful in the summer. go all right now we have a perimeter and I also want to put a door so it actually looks like it has a door I'll just do a generic zoo door because it's a backstage building <laughs> what 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 Tom why do you suggest these things? <laughs> the blindfoldedness is bad enough. Plus, I actually don't have that many blueprints because I don't I don't subscribe to that many of them. So that's actually a really bad choice. <laughs> it's what I'm gonna say. Oh yeah, my enthusiasm is just oozing out of every everything I have. Woohoo! <laughs> I can't wait. Um, let's go back to nature, to a tropical. These are the Amazon lilies that Primal was suggesting, right? I think it was Primal. What are you sneezing over there for? Well, that one's too big. So also, I just noticed there's a new, I'm pretty sure this is new, this new like align to water thing. Although it doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Interesting. But I saw that the other day. Let's put them right on the water. Like so. Yeah, there's an align to water, but I haven't gotten it to work to do anything cool, which is a bummer. Let's do this. And then what I am gonna do, I think, is do the other lily pads too, cause they have, yeah, they have like dangly bits. <laughs> Do you need to use it with a line to surface? Maybe, I'll try that in just a second and see if it turns on. But yeah, these ones have like little dangly 
parts that go down in the water and that's I want it to be kind of interesting you know down below so we'll do that in the middle like that and then let's try uh, a line to surface a line to water aha very cool so that does work that's really cool I wish, I mean, I'm sure they put it in like a patch note somewhere, but I feel like I just stumble upon these things. I don't actually get told about them. I just like one day is like, wow, look what I can do. <gasps> tomatoes? Oh, look, we can align the tomatoes to the water too. <laughs> can align this to the water. Oh, wrong button. I don't really want to use that. I want the pink. Are the pink ones not considered tropical? The pink lily pads? They considered something else even though they're still a lily pad? Oh well. We'll use this one again. I just kind of wanted to put a couple of them over here. There we go. Perfect. Likes to smuggle some cool uh, quality of life features into patches. Yeah, but I feel like shouldn't they be in the patches right how i just hit my arm on my desk um shouldn't they be like in the patch notes and stuff like somebody would have been able to read them you should nicole jump in build play do it yeah it i hit my um whatever bone this is my forearm bone on the corner of my desk <laughs> Ouch. What's my favorite South American animal? Um, probably the capybara. They're adorable. I don't know how they couldn't be your favorite. All right. What other trees? Because I feel like we need... That doesn't have the right green tone to it, but I feel like we need like a bushy, bushy tree. And let's take off this align stuff. We need like a bushy tree for some shade. Maybe something over the water. be too big like that there we go it's looking looking pretty tropical was this the new tree was that yeah that was the mapingo mapingo tree this tree makes a great bush yeah it's got some good it's got some good leaves to it. I, where is the, where is the, uh, this is the one I always use for like ground coverage when it comes to tropical builds because it's just tropical looking and I like the leaf color and it's bushy and it is beautiful. <laughs> hey Jacob, how's it going? Welcome back T-Rex. Welcome back. I also like this one, this bamboo for um, ground coverage, leaf coverage, because I like the color and I like the little, little leaves, I think look good. Nothing in here climbs, but I wonder if we can, isn't there, isn't there like a, just like a platform with like a ramp up. I mean, we can make one, but this is interesting. I don't, have I seen this before? I don't feel like I've seen this before, but something, I don't know, just for some like height. Cause this is just very, everything is just very, um, single level. <laughs> I 
we do... I mean, surely they'll be able to walk up this, right? Come on, line up. That'd be great, thank you. And just give them a little bit of a platform. go. There's something interesting, I guess. Not really higher than anything else, but at least it's something in the habitat. <sighs> You're gonna play Zoo Tycoon 2? I haven't played Zoo Tycoon 2 in years. I own the CD-ROMs for uh, both Zoo Tycoon and Zoo Tycoon 2, but I don't, I mean, none of my computers have a CD reader. <laughs> I didn't hide the ramp. It's, look, it's right there. It's just teeny tiny. Gosh. Giving me a hard time. Let's duplicate it and bring it over here. Give him another little ramp thing. There. Something to play on. That ramp's not hidden. Apparently when I'm tired I get defensive. Alright. What are the plants? I like this one as a bush too. It's just massive. So like you have to like really sink it down like this and get really far away and then zoom in to like see if you've actually placed it where the the tree is going to come out the other side, you know, or where you don't want it to be. But it makes a good bush too. It just counts as like when you're doing uh, like franchise or anything like that, where you're really caring about like the foliage coverage and whatnot. Um, it counts as a lot of coverage, even though it's in the ground. So you have to be careful with that. If you have if you have a an animal that really doesn't like a lot of coverage, you can't necessarily do that. Let's do this. It's not hidden. It's just creatively buried. I like that. I like that. Let's let's get this. I was using a lot of colors, so I'm gonna have to copy this color over again. And then let's grab some rocks. Rocks, rocks, apply. See, and then we'll do this and we'll put like a little rock there. And a little rock over here. No, not over there. Um, some of these rocks, because these are my favorite rocks to kind of detail with. Like that. <laughs> you take it back, it's not hidden. Good. Not hidden. Just barely showing. Rocks there, rocks around over here, just rocks everywhere. Everywhere, more rock the better. Screen is blurry. That's probably a YouTube thing. I would try refreshing because every once in a while it'll do that to me too. I'll be watching a video and it switches for some reason to like 720p or something like that and I have to go down in the settings and tell it like no no I want to watch this in full resolution please YouTube I don't want to watch it in blurry weird resolution so I would check that there should be like I think it's like bottom right or something is the controls to change the resolution on what you're watching maybe we'll do uh, something in the middle here because this is kind of blank and Boring. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to build things that look real or somewhat real and you guys are throwing me curveballs at every chance you get. 
every chance. I don't think I've ever used these palm trees. And I don't know why, because they're really pretty. But I just don't think I've ever, I've ever used them. Do that. Oops. Can I have this? Thanks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need to start with desert plants. <laughs> oh no! Desert plants. Are there a lot of desert plants? Okay, hold on. Wait, blueprints are off. Need to be off. 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 <laughs> no blueprints. Oh, there's rocks in there. Oh, there's quite a bit of desert plants. <laughs> Look at everybody congratulating you. Everybody but me likes chaos. We need more, a more chaos sticker or emoji. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea actually at all. Well, yes, preparation. I have to make sure that I don't absolutely ruin our zoo and our progress. The day of reckoning is upon us. I know, and I've got a clip in my hair. I don't really know how I'm gonna fit this over that. Okay, apparently like that. Okay. <sighs> Let's go over here. Go over here. This is where we're gonna start. Excuses. <laughs> Uh, oh, turn off blueprints and other menus just in case. I didn't know that it was a specific, uh, I thought it did it for everything when you did that. Good call. Thank you. Off, off, off. There's no blueprints and barriers. Okay. I can't turn blueprints off in the blueprint menu. So if I click this button, I'm just, I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do. Okay. <laughs> Chaos only allowed. Savannah is not as bad as signs and salamander likes. You see, you say that, but I'm gonna end up on that menu. Watch. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna put this down over my eyes. Make it so that I can still like, you know, have blood flow to my head. Where's my timer? Okay, ready? My mouse is on there. Okay, and Five minutes, here we go. Okay, we're gonna do some scrolling first because I feel like we always do scrolling and I'm moving a little slow, but I gotta remember I have to listen. Okay, I got, I think I clicked on something. Okay, I clicked on something, I'm gonna go up. Okay, that's placing, it sounds like a rock. Definitely sounds like a rock. Let's go back down. Oh, still placing. That was nothing. That was placing? Okay, there we go. I've clicked on something. Let's scroll some more. <coughs> okay, that was something. That was something. Let's go back up. That still sounds like a rock. I swear to God, if I place all rocks... Good lord, this still sounds like a rock. Okay, that's back on the menu. Let's scroll all the way up because I know there wasn't rocks at the top of the menu. I'm gonna cheat a little bit just because I know what the menu looks like since we looked at it before. Okay, I got something else. Up, up, up. Aha, that sounds like a bush or a plant or something. I feel like I'm in one of those like spy movies like holding my ear like this you know how they like dramatically like talk into their secret mic <laughs> but it's just so i can hear what i'm placing okay that's good that's good that's still placing i at least i don't feel now i could be wrong but i don't feel like i've changed oh that sounds like a big bush 
I don't feel like I've changed menus because this still sounds like a plant. I'm being very careful with this. Down. Menu. Okay, let's do some scrolling again. Although I feel like the rocks are at the bottom of the menu, so we gotta be careful. I'm not clicking on anything. Let's go back up. I don't, I can't tell if that sounds different or not. Okay, placing, placing, not placing. Okay, that's back on the menu. Go back up. Oh no, this sounds like a rock again. At least, I mean, honestly, we've got it filtered to desert, so we could always just make a desert habitat for something. That's, is that placing? That was still placing. Down, down, down. Did that select? I feel like I'm getting a little click happy, but I can't, I can't hear it anymore. Can I check just to make sure I'm still on the screen? Okay, good. I'm still on the screen. Let's go down. All right, I'm gonna go to the very bottom left corner. Okay, that's where my cursor should be. So if I go up slightly and then over to the right, aha, I figured out how to get back on the menu. Okay, up, okay, here's more trees, up, or bushes or something. It sounds like a tree though, cause it has like a bigger, like you know how the like little grasses and stuff have kind of just like a noise? It's my impression of a bush, by the way. And these ones have more like a ksh noise. Oh, I'm placing. Where's the menu? Okay. There we go. Back on the menu. Let's scroll all the way down and then up a little bit and then go to the left. Okay, I've got something else. Let's go back up. God, no, this sounds like a rock again. Go down. Oh, thank God. The hell is this? Common saltwort dry? Oh, it's a bush. Oh, my eyes. Ugh. Could you guys hear the timer go off, by the way? It's beautiful. I This is not a lot of... Wow, I made a tower. This is a desert bush? Oh, you did hear. Oh, okay, cool. Good. I It's set up on my stream deck, so I didn't actually know if you guys could hear it or not. Well... Here's Estan's favorite bush. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go onto a different menu, which is fantastic. I learned, I went all the way down and all the way to the left and then like up and over. The thing that I just now realized is that could like when the menus open, that could send me into like these menus down here, which would not be fantastic. <laughs> so good thing I went up high enough and then over. All right. Well, these, I feel like these corkwood trees are not really, I mean, they're labeled as desert, but they're also labeled as tropical. So we got something we could use right away. So let's put all these over here. There's a lot of them. Even if we use them in like the guest facing areas too, at least we can do that because they fit. So that's a win. Got a sideways bush. Did you guys like my impressions of the noises? <laughs> and 
And then we got a whole bunch of these little, are these desert rocks? Yeah, desert rocks. And then some of these, are these the Australian rock? Red desert rock, yeah. Something like that. It's so pretty, you should just, oh, I forgot to vote. Hold on. Nope, nope, redo, we need that rock. Okay, I forgot to vote. Are we leaving it or moving the pieces? Uh, can we move? Yes and no, go. I totally forgot, that's part of it. We get to vote on that. Oh, I'm always blind after this though, because like, like really blind because it always pushes my contacts into my eyeballs. Hey, Zeusaurus, how are you? Oh, really, Andre? I know what I'm watching later. <laughs> Disney now has a new design for Pride Rock. I mean, I think Disney did it better. <laughs> nice step ladder. <laughs> yeah, clearly. I mean, it's it's obstacle course. It'd be some real engineering feat to actually get this to work as it is, but we could, if if we left it, we could make this into like a mountain or something. Although these are what I would want to move. The rocks I could keep. I don't know if we voted to always, but I'm pretty sure this one is gonna say my pride rock overpowers Disney. Yeah, okay, everybody says we can move them. Fantastic. Can I put them all back? I can. Okay. So, let's move all these little bushes. And I didn't build in a group this time. Wow, how many of these did I place? I didn't build in a group this time, so they're all individualized, which is fantastic and makes it much less annoying. And at least I got some variation in some of the rocks. And I think, honestly, leaving a line to surface on, which I didn't realize was on when we were placing things, <laughs> makes it a little bit more fun because then the... God, I put things all the way over here. Then they, they kind of get put, like, all over the place, you know? Oh, I placed multiple in the same thing. <sighs> Did we not vote on yours, Tumbly? I honestly don't remember. If we didn't, I'm sorry, because that was me forgetting, but if we, uh... If we want to just make it something where we just have to use the pieces and everything can get moved, I'm good with that too. It's, again, it's your guys' choice. <sighs> but yeah, now I'm excited because um, I had no idea that Camp Cretaceous, the next season, came out today. So that's exciting. So it's a cute little show to watch. I saw, um, cause like Swerve and, uh, Best in Slot, there's one other creator does do some videos on Camp Cretaceous and I saw some videos, but I didn't actually watch them. So, all right, let's take all of these <laughs> to the graveyard. All right, let's put them right here. There we go. Oh, we need to raise that up a little bit because some of them are in the ground. We need to be able to see, there we go, what we have. You missed the blindfold, T-Rex. You'll have to watch it back. All right, let's place these because we actually got something useful in that blindfold session, which is awesome. So let me take off the align to surface and water now. And we'll put some of these in the guest facing areas, but some of these in the animal area. Let's do maybe over here a little bit for some more height over there. I actually kind of like this tree, bush, whatever it is. I don't think I've ever used it before. He <laughs> did the desert plants for the desert gang. I love it. And thank you again so much for the uh, 
for the donation. Tumbly, we love the chaos. Well, you guys love the chaos. <laughs> and I appreciate the support, so thank you. All right. How's that? Nicely integrated into our habitat. Yeah, you'll have to watch it back. I did a pretty good job this time. I did a very good job staying on the menu and not doing things like overly chaotic. It was great. It was great. Uh, have you ever read Wings of Fire? No, I have not. I don't know what that is. I've been watching on um, Netflix. There's a series called um, The Unexplained with William Shatner. <laughs> And the first couple episodes are actually really good and I really like it. And then it gets into some like weird stuff because I'm pretty sure they like run out of things to cover. I don't know, I still have some episodes to go. But the first couple episodes are talking about like, there's this forest in Japan and it's called Suicide Forest because, oh, thank you for the sub, uh, Steven. Uh, it's called Suicide Forest because there's like hundreds of people that go into the forest to commit suicide. And then there was one um, on uh, a place called Lollibella, and I forget where it was. But basically these people, there was a huge slab of bedrock. And instead of building things on top of it, they like carved down and carved like 11 churches just into the bedrock. So they're like below ground, technically. But um, yeah, I've been watching that. So it's just like unexplained things. Like they talk about the pyramids in one of them because, you know, there's a lot of mysteries around the pyramids and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so it's been a really cool, like, like mystery type show. Um, we can turn these on now. Let's go to Capybara and Giant Anteater. Um, I'm trying to remember the other ones that they covered. Oh, there was one where like, there's this whole forest called the Crooked Forest and the trees, they grow up and then all of them kind of curve like that before going up. So they're like a fish hook kind of thing. And all of them do that. And they don't, they don't really fully understand why. And they might because the show really doesn't go into, um, where am I going? I need giant anteater. The show doesn't really go into a whole lot of explanation as like truly why these things are happening. Although I feel like some of them have, some of them have, why? Oh, cause I'm on climbing. Um, some of them do have explanations that I just don't think the show is talking about because that's not the point of the show. The point of the show is to like talk about the unexplained, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but it's a cool show nonetheless. Let's put this here. There we go. <sighs> Add the spa pipe thingies for the capybaras. We don't have any shallow water in here though, so I don't think that they'll use them, right? Let's see if we can blend that in a little bit. There we go. You never knew trees could fish? I didn't either. Till this show. That we'll kind of cover this actually we'll leave it like that that's an okay integration i guess maybe i'll raise up the terrain just a little bit around it hey jake how's it going hope you're doing well I'll raise up the terrain just to hide the hello hide the uh borders there I'm gonna smooth it out so it's not so obvious. And then when we're in tropical, this mulch terrain paint really kind of hides everything really well, blends everything in really, really well. There we go, like this. And then we go to the 
terrain paint and we paint all of this and look at that it's like nearly nearly hidden voila there we go have you ever watched paranormal shows yeah so i i like <laughs> excuse me i like shows um that are like about hauntings and stuff like that just because i find them interesting and and whatnot but there was in this show that i was talking about there was an episode on i don't know if i want to put this here or not there was an episode on rituals and if rituals work and that kind of stuff is like at least for the sh that show i was like it doesn't really fit because like i don't know there's no like the, for example, they did, um, they covered like a ritual that was done in Jerusalem because there was like a five year drought and everybody obviously wanted the rain to come back and everything. And so they were covering it like this, like it, it worked, but it was like the people performed the, this prayer and stuff for like the whole five years of the drought. And then then all of a sudden it rained again and i was like that's not really like i don't know to me for that show it would have been more fitting if it was like they did the ritual on one day and then it rained the next day you know like how weird is that but this was like for five years there was no rain and they prayed and and did this this ritual you know throughout these five years and then all of a sudden so to me it's like well yeah there was a five-year drought and then it uh and then it uh, rained again. So, I don't know. It was just a little weird. We couldn't make it through one stream, camera. One stream is all I ask. And we couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. I'm back. Woohoo. Yeah, I turned the camera off because I was fixing it. Because <laughs> it was frozen. So I, I hit it while I fix, fixed it. Um, but I guess we could try to put one of these here. I just, like I said, I don't think that they will use it. Because they have to, like, sit under it, you know? So if we, yeah, I just, I don't think that'll work for them right there. I'm going to call this one pretty much, pretty much done, right? Oh, we need to give them, like, food. <laughs> They have this thing, but let's just give them a food bowl too. And then they have water, so we don't need to do anything for that. So we'll do that. And there we go. All right, should we get started on the Chevalsky's uh, Wild Horse? Because that's our next one. So this was from Shells Bells, who I have not seen. Um, I have not seen in chat today. So, um, but thank you very much. That was a couple streams ago. I have nothing against religion, you guys, but let's go ahead and change the chat because um, I just, it's not something that we need to discuss here. So, partly my fault for bringing up the show and everything, but we don't need to be, we don't need to be chatting about stuff like that in here. So, like I said, partially my fault because I'm sorry I was talking about the show and everything, but let's, let's change the subject. Um, Shavalsky's Wild Horse. Let's figure out where we want to put them. Um, and yeah, Johnny, let's go ahead and, and calm down. Let's, let's change the subject and, and chat about something else, please. Um, let's see, where do we want to put them? Ideas. Let me know. This is from, this is from T-Rex. So T-Rex, if you have, uh, an idea on where you wanted this to be let me know there's still some work we could do on this habitat there's still some work on really all the habitats but 
I want to make sure we get to the um, we get to the donated habitats near the cheetahs. Do we have a cheetah cub in there? While we were building, oh, we do. Whoa, we have two cheetah cubs, right? Because I see four of them in there. Yeah, we have two cheetah cubs. Look how cute they are. Hey, Kari. I want to decide where we're going to put them. And then to be honest, we might cut the stream just a little bit short. It's like 90 degrees in my office because even though it's nice outside, this office heats up really fast with my computer and the window and all that kind of stuff. So I'm starting to die a little bit. Yeah, where to put it? Um, this is going to be a smaller animal, which we haven't decided quite yet. We could do it on the other side of here, but that's kind of like tropical into Chevalsky's wild horse. So if we want to, we can, or we can put them kind of back off of here, I guess, like next to the cheetahs. Heather, you can go ahead and get rid of Connie. Um, should we put them next to here? Or should we put them over by the capybara and anteater? The smaller habitat is a sloth. We don't have a sloth in the game. All right, let's see. Let's do vote. Where is the Chevalskis? Where for the horse? Thank you, Heather. Uh, next to Cheetah. Um, and or next to Capybara, or we can kind of like, or we can do behind the cheetahs, how we were saying like there would be, um, there we, yeah, we can get rid of Clark too. Basically anyone, Heather, that is doing that kind of long chat thingamajiggy, go ahead and just, just ban them. Just get rid of them. Cause I already verbally mentioned it and everything, or we can do behind the cheetahs. Like I was saying, so like how we were going to have like a habitat kind of go up on a hill that kind of gives a backdrop. So behind cheetahs. Okay. Vote. Uh, yeah, Heather. Uh, the other Heather, the mod Heather, <laughs> can ban or kick or block or do anything like that for anybody that's being naughty in chat. That's what she's here for. To help me. You didn't miss the live. We're still live right now. So yeah, let me let me know. Vote in the chat now where we want to put the Chevalsky's wild horses. as my camera freezes again, which is fantastic. That one froze on a really good, uh, really good <laughs> angle, really good face. There we go. Let's see if Tumbly loses. Yeah, let's see. <clears throat> I know. I feel like it, it might be something with the software to update why it keeps freezing. I don't know. I'll have to remember to look into it. Welcome back, Aurora. Aurora, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Did you guys all vote? Are we ready? Let's see what wins. Oh, next to cheetahs. Okay, cool. I just barely. Heather has a wrench next to her name because she's our mod. So she is our helper. So. Um, how do we want to do this? I want to make this a little thicker. So we can do like that. And then we can do uh, 
I don't know if I want to make this like a square habitat, but the first thing that comes to mind um, is <laughs> consistency queen. I, I mean, at least you're consistent. People don't have taste in placing animal enclosures. <laughs> I don't, I don't like this path. I don't like this path at all. So hold on. Hold on. We're going to get rid of this. I just want to nail down the layout before we end today. So let's redo this path because we needed to redo it for the cheetahs anyway. So we want, in fact, actually, I kind of want this to be a little bit raised and not with this path, maybe with, You know what, we'll do this path for now and then maybe we'll vote on a, a better path. But let's do this path for now that goes along the edge of the cheetah habitat. Like so. And it's a little bit raised, which I like. And ooh, does it match? Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. So then, in fact, actually, can we turn on railing? I like this railing too. Um, so there's that railing. Uh, what other path could we potentially do? We could potentially do this path has a green railing so I don't really like that one but we'll keep it as an option we could do this one which is an option so we'll do that and then maybe one more option what's this railing like okay let's vote vote it's green railing <laughs> this, this is green okay we have one two three four so left to right one two three four because I'm not gonna type the names which oh which path oh I'm typing in the chat I'm not making a poll <laughs> Oh, I'm already so annoyed. I can hear my my neighbor doing pounding work on the wall. And I'm going to go downstairs because it's cool downstairs, but it's going to be really freaking loud. One, two, three, four. Okay, this will be our last vote of the day. You don't really have a preference, so you'll just click on something. There you go. It doesn't look blue. <laughs> I, re I refuse. It's, it's green. It's a green railing. I don't know if I have a favorite. I have a favorite in general, but for this zoo, I don't know. I'm having a hard time with this zoo, like nailing down a style because we're all over the place. So that's why I'm like mostly letting you guys Oh, Lord. I'm going to go through and take out any green or blue in the whole zoo. That way it's just all going to be red, yellow, orange, purple, stuff like that. Can we do like a monkey island? We absolutely can. So down below is the menu. And if you want to pick a specific animal, uh, it's going to be the super chat below. And uh, if you pick an animal, you can kind of help pick the style of the habitat. Yeah, exactly, Ring. You guys are arguing about blue and green, and so you'll lose privileges. <laughs> I'll take it all out. Not your two favorite colors. Not my gumdrop buttons. All right, did you guys vote? Are we ready? One, two, three, or four. One it is. One it is. 
Good choice, good choice. There we go. YouTube isn't letting you send via super chat. I'm sorry, Amber, that's strange. I've done all, like every time I super chat, it's on my phone, so that's crazy. Why it wouldn't be working. Um, so I don't, I don't really want to go straight across because I feel like that cuts it too weird. So what I think I want to do is I want to continue this curve, like maybe not like that. What is super chat? Super chat is a, thank you so much for the sub, uh, is a donation. So it's a monetary donation for the channel, helps support the channel and the content. Um, and so that's what that is. So I think I want to do that. And then the Chevalsky's wild horse can be on this side. And maybe we can kind of branch off this way, but that way it's not like a super square. You know what I mean? I just didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to be a super square. So let's do something like that. And I know that's huge, but gives it a little bit of height differentiation, gives it a little bit more interest, I think. Can I though, on elevated paths? Oh, I think I can. It was right there. Oh, sweet, I can on elevated paths. Okay, cool. I wanted to smooth this out like so. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, the super chat is to pay a donation. That's what that's for. Yeah, no square, so a Y. Y is much more dynamic, Tumbly. <laughs> we want dynamic shapes. Um, but no, that, that leaves, I think, a good a good starting layout for that. And then for this habitat, what we'll probably do is this might be some foliage and stuff like this through here. So not actually anything, or maybe we'll put like a bathroom off here cause I'm not even thinking of guests and stuff like that. But you can only view this habitat from this front or from the inside here, which I think is a good idea. Look at our little zoo growing. It's so big. Let's actually move these over here where they're out of the way and not all ugly. And we'll start a little staff center back here so our staff don't, um, don't complain. And they'll be floating for now, but it's okay. They're the magical staff room and, and uh, keeper's hut. All right, so. We need to take a picture of this because this looks fantastic. <coughs> Still got some work to do, but it looks pretty good. I like that you can see the conservation thing in the background. Pretty cool. And thank you. It was Tumbly, you donated for our waterfall, right? I didn't write that one down. No, I didn't write that one down, but the waterfall was a good choice. So thank you because it looks fantastic. Let's grab this. Snap that picture. I don't have a green screen picture of an anteater, so this is a perfect opportunity. Let's see, there's one. Where's the other anteater? Over there. Can you guys come over here, please? You guys definitely gave me some energy today. So thank you, I appreciate it. I was very tired and out of it and actually almost didn't stream today, so I am glad I did. Can you look up and not at the ground? There you go, little anteater friend. We'll put you right there so that there's not really, well, there is kind of blue in the background. So let's grab, like I said last time, let's turn these on. I don't like the blue in the background because it 
messes with the green screen. Do that. And we can get right up on ya. They're so cute. I know there's people that don't like them, but they're just, how adorable. Uh, green screen. What am I doing? Filter. Green screen, like so. Bring this forward. Wow, we can get this pretty close. There we go, perfect. Snap that. They're perfect. <laughs> Especially baby anteaters, yeah. And for those of you guys that are content creators or, or like to create, oh, I cut his little head off with that <laughs> wall. Um, I have been putting these green screen pictures up on my website for download. So that if you don't have Ansel and aren't able to do it and you need to use the, the animal faces and stuff like that for things, um, I have put those up um, for download for free. So you guys are welcome, welcome to do that. All right, you guys, that is, that is pretty much it. We actually got a good amount done today in an hour and 40 minutes or so. I'm gonna go relax. I'm gonna go eat some food. I made myself a wonderful pasta salad a couple days ago and I'm really excited to eat more of it because I love pasta salad. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm glad that I streamed today. Like I said, I was just really tired. And so I was thinking of, of not, not streaming when I woke up this morning, but I'm really glad that I did. Cause I really do, I really do enjoy streaming and you guys made it fun. Thank you so much, Tumbly, for her blindfolded session today. Uh, it was, it was an awesome session because we got a lot of good desert rock. So Think about what desert animals that you guys want to see. Show us the cat again. Kiwi? Where are you? Kiwi? Where'd you go? I know you're in here because I haven't opened the door. Kiwi? How about Nalu instead? Because <laughs> Nalu wants to come to me. Nalu, come here. She's a good girl. Yeah. He's a good Nalu. She's the only one that's in here with me right now. The other two are down. Um, oh, my tan line is so bad. Do you guys see that? <laughs> my tan line is so bad because I wear a, a short sleeve shirt at, uh, at work. She's so cute, Nalu. Come here. Come up here. Come on. You can jump up. Yeah, up, up. You can do it, come on. No, come here. Come here. Ignore your brother's barking. Come here. Come on, come on. Yeah, that's a good girl. Good job. He's a good girl. Yeah, cats are stubborn, especially, yeah. I know, you're hot too. Look at you panting with your dragon breath. Look at you panting with your dragon breath. Does that feel good on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> She's a cutie pie. She's a cutie pie. All right. It's hot in here. I'm going to go get not hot <laughs> downstairs and relax and uh, enjoy the rest of my day. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much again for hanging out. Really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. And like I said, I love streaming because of you guys. We'll see you next week, Thursday, 10 a.m. Same time where we'll continue our stream zoo. More chaos, <laughs> more habitats. We got to think about a desert animal and we got to think about an Arctic animal. So we got to think about those two. So have a think on that one. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Heather, thank you so much for being here. You rock. It was kind of a hard stream today, I know, with some some weirdos and some bots. So thank you for uh, hanging in there as always and handling it. So have a good one. Bye.